Now let's take a look at modeling pavement markings. Uh, the pavement marking custom line styles have been completely redesigned to float above the pavement by about 0.15 inches and this avoids the bleeding of the pavement uh, through the mesh material. Uh, can be added as a point to the template, can be placed as geometry, then assigned a profile from the corridor, and also the Elma templates point to the custom line styles used for uh, the pavement markings. And so you'll see a list there on the right. Uh, this is the imperial list. We also have a metric list. And this is uh, supported uh, coming from the MUTCD manual here in uh, the imperial environment. So let's take a look. If I go in and modify my template drop here, and I'm going to go to insert a point on my pavement, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that point where we need it and also assign it the appropriate uh, point here. So I'm going to pick the uh, double solid uh, line here, uh, the, that particular point name, and use the right feature definition. And then when I go ahead then and move it to the center by adding a full constraint to the center, we'll just set that to 0 and 0 and OK. And then when we select OK, that will reprocess the corridor and we'll see our pavement marking there in the middle. Now if we take a look at a different way to do this, we can draw our geometry and give it a profile. So if I want to offset the baseline using the pavement marking double solid here, I'll select my baseline, I'm going to do an offset of zero, select that, and then put our starting station and then our ending distance, and accept it. And so you'll see that a solid right, skip dash left, put in our ending station and accept. Then all we have to do is select profile from surface. We pick the element that we want to add a profile to, which is our pavement marking. Then we simply pick our corridor to provide our profile. Accept that and go through the default prompts. And it'll then assign that profile and also make it active to our pavement marking and put it in the right place. And so you'll see that that then is essentially being ruled vertically by the design of the corridor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.